Hey everybody, Ozone here on the Vault Hunters Arcade Mode server. The first video seemed to be pretty well received, so thanks so much, I appreciate it. Today we're going to pick up right where we left off. I have been a little busy, as you can see I'm glowing in my legs, but I haven't done a whole lot more. I haven't done any vaulting anyway. Actually, what I have done is done a whole lot of exploring. I've been in a boat all over this place, trying to figure out where I can find a rabbit. Yep, I want rabbits because you need rabbit hide in order to make the pouches, and that's one of my early game goals. I've been down here setting up a few animal pens for, I don't know, just whenever we might need an animal pen. I have found a rabbit, but there's only one, and you need two to get any more. So that is a goal for today. I need more rabbits. And like I said, I have been exploring an awful lot all over the place trying to find those rabbits. But Atomic Dave came through with a super power tip, one that I had completely forgotten about, and that's to make a nature's compass. We know rabbits spawn in deserts and snowy tundra biomes, but it doesn't seem that they actually spawn in any of the terolith biomes, or at least none of them that I found, even though they were desert-like or tundra-like. There were no rabbits. So I think we got to look for one of the vanilla tundra or desert biomes and a nature's compass is going to be a great way to do that. But first I want to get into a vault because it's been a while and uh, you know what? I had a lot of fun with that vault run. Also Magpie is online today. So I think we're going to team up with her and run a vault sometime really soon too. But first it's time to fill out another quest item. It's time to go and make a potion. So with all of my Exploring, I've been able to find a poppy, not that they're really hard to find, and I've been able to get a glass bottle, so it's potion time. And that means it's quest time. And we get an ender pearl, which, okay. But now it says to enter a vault, which is what I want to do. And we get some nice materials, a sword. Oh yeah, in the last episode, my sword broke, and so I went ahead and used some of my precious few diamonds to make a diamond sword and get it enchanted up. And I realized later on, that was pretty stupid. Because I'm going to be getting a vault sword here pretty soon, and this diamond sword is just going to end up in a drawer. So, yeah, that's a dirt moment. But let's go run a vault. And complete a quest. Oh, look at that. One monolith. That ought to make this vault pretty darn easy. This time I'm actually remembering to spend some time in the main room here, waiting for the rest of the vault to generate. I guess that's enough. Let's go. Do I need amethyst for... Oh, and it's still not generated. Goodness gracious. Well, anyway, do I need amethyst for anything? I don't think so. Silk. I'm after the magic silks. Let's just get it all. I'm actually going to be focusing on wooden chests this time, which is very uncommon. But again, I want silk. A vault diamond. Very nice. Nice! Another vault diamond! And another vault diamond! Oh, a champion already! Wow! Wow! He was hurting hard! That's not fair! A champion below level 10? <laughs> Whoa, we picked up a lot of bronze from that champion, it looks like. And I've been forgetting about my bow. A bow at low levels is super handy. It can really do a lot to take care of these guys. Coin piles. Oh, without, without a coin breaker, these are rough. Wow, three vault diamonds. Very nice. All right, nice room. I'm happy with things so far. Let's uh, try to find that monolith. Ooh, it, oh, there's a monolith and it's a bunch of ores. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get it. And I am prepared once again with Vein Miner. This time around. Yay. Hey, hey, we got some gildeds. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just ignore you all for right now. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. One hit, one kill. Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm not always that good. In fact, a lot of times, I'm not that good. Huh. 
Ah, I wish we could stay like this, this easy the whole time. That would be really nice. <laughs> but I know better. It gets a lot harder, a lot more quickly. Oh, it's an X marks the spot room. So these are possibly great and possibly terrible. All right, so we need to make ourselves a little safety box here as quickly as possible. Sounds like it's a bad one. It's a bad one. And we're gonna have some company up here as well. So we'll just have to get out of Dodge. Oh, yeah, those guys are rough. I don't really think I can block them off. Oh my gosh, we have an Omega room. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay. They're going to be a problem. I guess I just won't go downstairs. Let's go up to this one. We've only got a few minutes left anyway. Ornates. Yeah. Oh, man, I am so full up. Oh, my gosh, an echo? Seriously? An echo from this. All right, two minutes. I've got plenty. I am so full of stuff. And I'm just going to I'm just going to head on out. I'm not going to cut it as close as I lot did last time. And uh wow, I got four echoes from that ore. Holy smokes. That is amazing. Plus some vault gear, plus a completion. Oh, this is another great vault. These early vaults are all really good because they're so easy to complete. They're so much fun. As you get further and further in, and it gets harder and harder and harder, it gets, it, well, it gets harder. <laughs> and it doesn't get as fun sometimes. Wow. 9,000 experience. Oh my gosh. Well, I am definitely going to need some more space here pretty soon. Uh, we got some really great stuff. I haven't even really gone through my shulker because I kept throwing stuff in there. Let me, let me come back and do that, actually. All right, well, here we go. We got uh, a good amount of soul shards. We got, uh, I condensed all the money down into silver, but that's a lot of money. I got like a stack and a half from that champion. I, a couple nice pieces of gear, plus the gear that we're going to get from the uh, completing the quest. Some focuses of various kinds, 15 vault diamonds, and uh, 14 magic silk, which I think might be enough for a pouch if I can get the rabbit hide. Well, I got the crate ready to be done, and... Uh, uh, I did get some vault junk, but in the end, I was throwing that stuff out. I was really just getting it to, I don't know, just be able to efficiently loot the chests. But, oh, there's the biggie. Four echo gems from that one echo ore. I got super, super lucky on that. So, yeah, pretty amazing vault run. Honestly, pretty amazing. And, of course, it's time for the crate. What do we get from the crate? Uh, some more jewels, some more vault gear and a lot more coins wow and you know what i never even talked about the vault gear so yeah these boots are going to be a, de a definite replacement this helmet is a little bit better a little bit more item rarity and a little bit more health than what i've got right now otherwise it's pretty comparable we got a vault shield which is going to give me more block chance and thorns damage and stuff so that's good um i think and a vault sword nine attack damage versus my seven attack damage on this diamond sword See, I told you this diamond sword wouldn't be used very much, and it was a big old derp to make it. Ah, sometimes I'm an idiot, because I'm not finding a whole lot of diamonds. In fact, I didn't find any regular diamonds in that last vault. Yeah, apparently you can't find diamonds in the vault anymore. You might get them from smelting gems, and you might get them from treasure sand, but in terms of regular vault chests, no, <laughs> there's no diamonds anywhere. Which I guess makes sense, because they do have those diamond ore caves that they put in, and... Now I see why they're so useful, I guess. I've ignored them for so long in the other server because we had tons of diamonds and we were getting diamonds from the vault chests for a long time. But now that that's not happening, the diamond rooms in the vaults certainly make a lot more sense and are a lot more important. So now I remember why Hoodie was had, had all these uh, purple sheep here because we need specifically purple wool for a soul pouch. 
The recipe is pretty straightforward, but it does have to specifically be purple wool. And the ender pearl that they gave you in the previous quest, hope you still have it. And uh, some string and gold nuggets, pretty easy to get. So one little snip here gives me a whole lot of purple wool. Let's get that pouch. Dun, da, da, da. And that would have certainly helped in the last vault too, because I ended up getting like three stacks of soul shards. So that is pretty amazing. But the quest reward, we get pouches and upgrades. A pickup upgrade is absolutely amazing. Automatically puts things into the pouch. The void upgrade, that will make things, if you, if you fill up the pouch uh, completely, then it will make the extras be voided out, which is really good for that vault junk. So you just kind of leave it there and it just kind of builds up. One single pouch isn't going to be that much, but uh, it's certainly better than what we've got right now. Glad to have it. All right. Now we need a bounty table. Okay, a loom. You know, I was at some villages and I didn't grab the loom because I didn't think we really needed it. But yeah, okay, so I got to make a loom. That's pretty easy to do. Let's go get that done. And let's sleep because we don't like monsters around. And here we go. Got everything all together. It's a good thing I did do, get some vault essence in that last vault too. So, bounty table, done. And another quest, done. And these bounties are actually quite good. Ooh, 68 chromatic iron. I mean, normally that would be pretty good, but I really don't have a ton of chromatic iron. I got like two or three stacks, but you know, when you get into things, they really go pretty quick. Ah, oh, we got mine two Xenium or mine four Laramar. Yeah, let's activate mine four Laramar. Bounties can be an excellent source of additional XP from doing things in the vaults. So it's always good to have a bounty active. But it's time to get our pouch situated. Let's put on the pack upgrade and the void upgrade since we've got them. And uh, for now, I think I just want to like let it pick up everything. Yeah, for now, I think I just want to let it pick up everything. And we'll worry about sorting things out in the next vault run. Now I need to go spend some time with the villagers and get all these things enchanted up so that I can uh, I can use them. Hey, it's somebody else Hello. on the server. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Oh wait, let me throw this in this chest quick. It's just an iron sword that okay. takes up a, a space. Oh yeah, it there takes up go. a slot. So first right, co-op vault of I'm the ready. server. Ready yeah, when you are. Yeah, first vault for me this server too. Ah. All right. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Two monoliths. And we can stay in the room and it doesn't start the timer. Yay for advancements. I know, that's, that's really good. I heard about that. <laughs> All right, we got two monoliths. This ought to be pretty easy. Yeah, I did heal for my first heal point that I unlocked. Yeah, that's always a good one. Been a while. It's, it's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty easy. They're pretty okay, easy. Try to do this. Wow, there's so much new stuff in here. Yeah, the new vault junk. Of course, I I'm spawning in practically the whole room. Oh, we got creepers. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the fun. Fun guys. Oh, this new sword. So you went. I went down. You went down. Okay, I'll yeah. try to go up here then. Also, the level zero vault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be a lot of hard yeah. stuff. Right. Hey, a shulker shell. That's great. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoops. Let's get rid of this. Another shulker shell. Very good. I didn't find any of the first two. Uh, vaults that I went in. Well, there's plenty of obsidian Ooh, here like and this. lava. If uh, because I found a, a dungeon. It's not it's not one of the new dungeons. It's a it's an old dungeon, but still, there was lots of lava everywhere. Oh, I just fell. Oh, uh, this dungeon is loaded. It's a bunch of ornates. Oh, good. I think I'm actually going to grab that. the obsidian that I'm making. Oh, there's a brew stand here. I mean, it's a vanilla thing, but... But still, yeah. All right, so I'm ready oh, to move on. Me... So that little right. du dungeon room was, was really good. Let's go straight ahead, east. Sure. I'm spawning stuff in. Oh, that's a okay. champion. That's a champion. Oh, Oh. 
There you oh, go. he dropped some some vault gear. Do you see that? He's dropped a vault gear. Oh and, yeah. And a relic. He dropped a relic. Nice. Very nice. Those are awesome. Yeah. That those are new to me. I haven't I haven't had a vault champion yet. Yeah. Did you see the stuff on above his head? There were some yes. some things above his head. Yeah, that's what makes him a or indicates the champion. Yeah, so I'm ready yes. to go upstairs. Oh, I need to get my water back. Because we're not going to find any water in this dungeon, in this theme. True. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't think we do. Another monolith. All right, well, that's it. That's easy. That's the dungeon complete. Let's pack it up and go home. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Two shulker shells in this one. An ore room. Good, because my quest is to mine Laramar. So hopefully I can find, or my bounty is to mine for Laramar. And I see three. <laughs> All right. I think this one back here is done, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Okay. So we'll go. Let's go south. Uh, south, and then. That's whoops. not the. That's not the. <laughs> that all way out. I thought it was. I was like, it's the way. But clearly, I it did. Isn't the way. And if you see any ores points, please. But I'll save tell it you about them. Yeah. So I'm going Ooh, on. This up. might be one. Or is that a, there's one down here? Oh, okay. There's one more than one. Oh, you want me to switch with you? Well, let me look upstairs go... and see if upstairs okay. has ore POIs. No, the whole thing is ore POIs. So this is awesome. Okay, good. Well, then I will. Yeah, go for it. Although you don't have vein miners, so oh, there's a champion <laughs> here. Yeah. Oh, he's stuck. Good. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, this little I mean, one here only had two, so I'm going to go over to the next set. Bounty section complete! And see. Yay, bounty complete! Nice! It's good experience. Ah, okay. It's a, it's a lot of good vault experience from all of the vault doors, too, so definitely worth it to do. There's a lot of vault doors in here, or a lot of vault stone in here. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I have. Just a teensy bit of red on my pick, so. Uh, use so it we're up. gonna go west. Yeah, go ahead and go west. I'll okay. Clean up down here. Okay. Oh, there was another monolith in here. Nice. Two and a half. We gotta really watch the time, and and I know I made the mistake of not remembering how slow I am. Uh huh. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, we really uh, got to be careful about the time. Okay. I'm going to head west again. Yeah, I think we had I think we need to be heading out. And that should be our room. I have a feeling I'm leaving something, but I'm I'm really nervous about not getting out now, so. Yeah. Wait a sec. Isn't this our room? We went south and we went west west. And then uh, go north. North. So I'm heading out down that north side. Oh, wait, side our path. room is this way. Our room is this way. I don't know where you are. I'm in the oh, first room. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. I see where I need to go. I'm coming. No, I'm no, coming. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm one room away. <laughs> That's kind of my predicament. All right. 40 seconds. I see you. I, okay, good. Because I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming now. I'll say I could maybe crack open my uh, my pouch to see if I got a kiwi somewhere, but yeah, no, I will save it. I'm coming in the hallway now. All right. Woohoo! I was one over. Successful. <laughs> Woohoo! Should eat lunch. Ooh, 8,400. Wow. 9,500. Oh, and I can't pick it up. There we go. Can yeah. I pick up a vault diamond or a vault nugget. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting to claim because my inventory is full too, and it's gonna go flying. <laughs> there oh. we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. so where should we do like a community area? I don't know. About over here. I'm gonna drop my completion crate down in here and. Uh, okay. Uh, grab some planks and make some chests. All right, so yeah, let's just do it under the old walnut tree for right now. Okay. 
And that that's... sounds good. <laughs> Oh, Magpie and I divided up all the spoils of that vault. Again, another really good vault. And we got another completion crate. And as you can see next to me, the bounty. I was able to finish the bounty thanks to finding that ore room. Very nice. Let's claim that reward too. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff here in my shulker box. A bunch more magic silk, which is also really good. Uh, in my pouch, I got a whole bunch of coins and some sticks and more importantly, shulker shells, because apparently things have changed. When I first started playing Vault Hunters on 118, we needed bundles to be able to craft a pouch, but nope, now we need shulker shells. So that's what I'm looking for. And it looks like my whole thing in terms of running around looking for rabbits was in vain. I mean, it was fun to explore, of course, sometimes, but... Yeah, I feel a little derpy. I should have checked the recipe. But yeah, so much good stuff and so little storage space. Everything is full. Oh my gosh. I definitely need to expand. But first, let's uh, open our crate and see what we got. Ooh. More gear. I see a couple wands and an axe. Ugh. I want some swords. And this one gives us chromatic iron. And jewels. Yay, good stuff. So again, let's roll up some gear. This is the one that I'm most excited about. When we split up the loot, this was the one thing that I claimed first. Because it, my chest piece is the only piece that's not vault gear. Alright, time to identify. Okay, four armor plus two extra armor. Oh, definitely looks nice. Compared to the two armor that I'm currently using, absolutely an upgrade all around. And I think it looks pretty cool too. It would look cool if I had like a bare chested skin or something. Oh, very orcish. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> we got some wands, which would, this, that looks like a max roll. That is, that's a max roll wand with 10 ability power. I don't have any skills that utilize ability power yet, but that uh, probably will be a very good thing to be getting into and holding in the near future. Well, looks like I've got some sorting to do. It's going to be rough fitting everything in. The vault adds so much in the way of new items, and it's really hard to store it all. These little barrels are just not cutting it anymore. But we did also complete a quest to complete a bounty, which gives us even more chromatic iron. I don't want to give up this chromatic iron on that bounty quest, but maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hey, a tool station. That's good stuff, because I've been saying that I need a vault tool, and I'm ready to do it. Yeehaw! Tool station is another one of those super simple things to do. You just need to be able to get into the vault and get some driftwood, which is pretty easy to do. I've got already a, over a stack of it. So, yay, a tool station! That will help out a ton. But let's focus on the quests. Next, we need to make a chromatic iron pick. So that is going to take some vault bronze, chromatic iron, driftwood. Oh, yep. This is going to be much better to store things in than all of these chests. Let me move, start moving stuff over. There we go. Uh, for my first thing, actually, I want to make a chest breaker. Oh, it says to make a pick. That's all right. I can definitely go ahead and make a pick. But I also want to make a, uh, a sickle, because a sickle is the best tool as a chest breaker. So let's make a sickle, and we'll turn that into a chest breaker. Very nice. Now let's complete the quest, and I think we got some gems. Now what do we need to do? We need to acquire a jewel applicator. Probably not that hard to make either. Yep, definitely pretty easy to get. These driftwood planks are probably the hardest things because that takes four driftwood per. But uh, I'm in the shulker box because I grabbed a couple anvils out of the out of the last vault. And uh, that's what we need. We need an anvil for this. So that, uh, that was really useful. Uh, it doesn't take it because it's chipped. It'll still work, I believe. It just doesn't automatically move things over. No, it has to be a perfect anvil, not a damaged anvil. Well, that is annoying. All right, there's your stupid perfect anvil. Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my little place here is filling up with tools. This is definitely going to need a reorganization. But uh, we got that quest done. We get some chromatic steel. That's, that's good stuff this early level. All right, now we get into expertise, which uh, reached level five, which I have, and we get a gold. Very nice, easy, 
Now we can get to the forge, which means we can start making vault gear. All right, well, that's what we needed the chromatic steel for and a netherite ingot. Well, fortunately, I have gotten some netherite in the vault. More than the forge, I actually want the recycler because I'm ready to start recycling a bunch of gear. But that'll be another quest for later on. And I don't really want to use all my chromatic steel on uh, the vault recycler. So I guess I'll use up my netherite scrap that I've been collecting. I don't really feel like I need it for much of anything else. And let's make up that vault recycler. I mean vault forge. Well, I guess I don't need the old blast furnace right here. So we'll do that. Grab a couple mystical essences. And I think we are there. Well, apparently they didn't quite give us enough steel. They want you to be able to, you know, they give us four and it takes five. So fortunately I'm able to do that. All right, now we can make up the vault recycler and continue on with the quest. I keep calling it the recycler, the vault forge. We can keep going with the quests. Oh, yay, a magnet. That's why I want the vault forge because I want to be able to make a magnet. That's true. I said all in that last vault that I wanted to have a magnet. So there we go. A vault gold and some magnetite. Did they give us all that? Because I've got it. Yeah, they gave us the gold and they gave us the magnetite as part of the last quest. Awesome. I definitely uh, want this magnet. Let's hope it's good. Plus three item quantity. 3.4 range is not bad, but 10 velocity. Quite good. And wow, 17,000 durability. They've really upped the durability. All right. Yay, Magnet. And yay for another quest. We get some Vault Alloy. And that now says we need to make the Artisan Station. Hmm. What do we need for the Artisan Station, I wonder? More Chromatic Steel and another Netherite Ingot, which I cannot do. Definitely going to have to do more Vaults in order to be able to make this. But honestly, that's some pretty good quest progression and the vault progression has been going pretty quickly too i definitely feel like i'm getting a good amount of loot from this which i mean I, we should be because we're getting the three times loot that we get on the extreme loot mode so that's pretty awesome i think it's time maybe to run another vault well i guess after i enchant up my chest plate definitely got to do that first well actually before i go into another vault i want to make another pouch so we got to make up some perfect larrys to begin with and well we'll just We'll just use the, the easy thing. Oh, and we got another pouch. But the pickup upgrade is really what makes the pouch worthwhile. So looks like we need to do a little bit more crafting. And I think we can do it. Uh, getting the sticky piston may be a problem. I may not have slime balls. I've got a couple slime balls. So let's get her done. Blank done. Now, did I remember everything? I did. The chromatic steel's a bit rough to get, but the pickup upgrade is definitely going to make it worthwhile. So there we go. It's picking up everything right now. In this pouch right here, I've got all my vault junk, and I've got many stacks of several of them. But if I turn on the void upgrade, I think that I can just leave this as picking up vault junk and eventually it will just uh, overflow and get voided out. I don't want to do that on the regular loot. So this pouch is going to be for more regular loot. And of course, I'm going to make more pouches as time goes by. But I am really glad that pouches no longer require uh, a mod to unlock the, the, the entry level pouch anyway. And I'm also glad that the pickup upgrade doesn't require any mods to get to. Yay! These are good changes. Definitely good changes for entry level gaming. But as you can see, this storage is no longer even coming close to cutting it. I don't think I'm ready to start making a mod, so I just need more room. And as I pointed out, I've been working on this area here. So that's going to be my task for in between episodes is to kind of get this built out. I feel like I want this to be the main door and this to be a window actually into a side room. But uh, yeah. Got a lot of work to do and I've got to have to figure out how to make hobbit holes because this this looks pants. This does not look that great, quite honestly. But uh, that's going to have to wait for the next episode, I think, because I feel like this one's probably gone pretty long. But what are you thinking about arcade mode so far? I'm thinking the extra loot is really great. And honestly, I like making crystals with no resources. So I'm liking it so far. It lets you focus on running the vaults. And I just hope that the updates keep coming out and keep improving the vaults and 
keep making the higher levels more attainable. I mean, in the last series, I got to be about level 57, and it got pretty darn boring because the XP requirements were huge, were so big. But uh, right now, the advancement is really fast, and that makes the game fun. I know it's going to slow down, but hopefully they can get the pacing of the end game worked out, and this will be more fun. But that's it for now. Remember, be excellent to each other. I'm out.